What's going on guys, today we are looking at Inform Zaha and it's coming up next. <laughs> So in today's video, we are having a look at the inform 84 left wing Zaha. So he's gone from an 82 rated centre forward. He also does have an, uh, a footmas centre forward 84, which to be honest would probably be my better bet for this card. Um, I do prefer him in that striking role. Um, very similar to Delafeu. If you've not watched that, um, link will be somewhere anyway. Um, it'll probably pop up in the top right. Um, but... Looking at his basic information before we get into anything, he's got five-star skiller, which is always fantastic. Three-star weak foot, which necessarily isn't terrible. He is a left wing, but he is right footed, so that cutting is nice. But it does mean that more than likely the wing play on him, the wing play on him is a bit. It's down, it's downgraded a little bit just because if he's gonna just cross the ball in first time, the left foot's not necessarily gonna be the greatest. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, five foot eleven. He's got a high attack and work rate with a medium defensive work rate. Um, some of the standoff skills, he's got 92 pace, with uh, which has 93 sprint speed and 89 acceleration. Um, Shooting-wise, not the greatest in the world, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking of this card as a striker more so than a winger. So if I'm going to review this card as a winger, and then I'll kind of give my elements on the striking. So shooting necessarily for a winger isn't overtly important in the sense of you mainly want him to be that crosser that passer rather than the the out and out striker so the dribbling on this card is fantastic obviously dribbling is one of them funny ones because it depends on how good you are with him um, if you are a very good dribbler in general if you're going to utilize the five star skills that is fantastic he, he's he's a very agile player in general which leads me on to his 89 agility 91 overall dribbling 88 ball control and 83 composure so all round the dribbling stats very nice and he does feel very quick to move very good at, at kind of ball fainted and all them skill moves it all feels very very uh fluent in in the way i'm trying to think of the word it's it's just very flowing it doesn't seem to have any jagged edges it doesn't seem to kind of struggle to move left and right it's it's very good and very quick um, and that is probably the best kind of analysis on this card is he is very very quick so moving on to the passing really very average on the passing and on pretty much everything else the pace and the dribbling is the very um, highest two ratings on this card and again it's very much like delafeu um, in that sense but this card does have a little bit more shooting, which is fantastic. It does have 83 attacking positioning, 82 finishing and shot power. The rest are pretty average. 79 stamina. If you're going to play him in that left wing role, I think he may need more unless you uh, use that, say if you use the 4-3-3 three, three or something that requires the wingers to be up front. Um, if you click stay, uh, stay up front, that necessarily does get rid of half of the problem. Um, as he's got a medium defensive work rate, he does tend to come back a little bit. Obviously not too much, but it does have that overall impact maybe going towards the end of the 90. Um, but overall, I didn't see too much of an issue with that. Strength is very average, but very nice for a very light card. I'm, I don't know how much he weighs. Um, 66. So I don't know if that actually has... A complete uh, effect if the weight of the player or the height of the player has the effect on his strength or um, I think I'm thinking very technical into that but the strength on him is quite nice for such a player that you'd expect to be able to be pushed off quite a lot but we move on so that is pretty much all of his stats he's got 439 base stats and 1993 as an all in game stat so what do I think of this player? Personally, chem style wise, I definitely go for the shooting or passing. Uh, maybe a little bit of physical might be nice as well. Dribbling overall is very nice. Pace, again, I wouldn't touch. Same as Delafeu. His pace is very, very good already. Um, I don't think you need to cap it even more with maybe a Hunter or a Catalyst. I'd probably go for the out-and-out -out shooting or passing chemistry styles for me. Um, so that's where I lie with that. Overall wise, Winger... I thought he played better as a striker than a winger. Um, I really liked him going forward. I thought he was very good at getting past the defence. The shooting element of him wasn't overtly... It, he weren't clinical enough for me, but he does have that ability to get through. And if, say, you were doing the, the passing game, getting through and then knocking it to the side, sweating it, all that, he's very, very good at that. Um, he does go through defences, which I really like. And especially for an 84 card, it was nice to see such a card with low rating actually being usable. 
I necessarily wouldn't go in foot champs with him, but division, uh, division rivals are more than likely would. Um, very, very nice card. Will score a few goals. Um, and yeah, that's that's my overall opinion on him. So let me know down below what you think. Overall rating him, I'm giving him an 8.2. Obviously, there is still room for him to grow. Maybe he gets a team of the season, which would be fantastic to see. Um, it'd be a really nice card to see a 90 Zaha or something like that. But there is only limited spots in the BPL and I believe the community team of the season. So we'll see where that goes. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, also, I didn't even mention that he's only 35 to 33k, so if you're on a budget, very, very affordable, um, and yeah, definitely go and snipe one of them. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all again next time. Peace!